Hey guys, I was scouring the internet to try to find a solution for my very faded plastic on my 2005 Kimco scooter. Now, lots of videos on YouTube um, cover how do you repair or restore plastic on cars, but I haven't found one uh, that showed how to repair a scooter plastic um, that properly. There are plenty of videos on how to use a heat gun, for example, uh, but then you know further research into that shows that, that it could actually damage your plastic over time, so please don't do that. Um, if you're gonna do it once and then sell the scooter, I guess, but pretty crappy for the new owner. Um, and otherwise, uh, a lot of them say, you know, paint it, but that involves you know, either lots of masking of the other parts that you don't wanna get painted, or you know removing it from the scooter now i want a um, nice and easy way uh you know hopefully not too expensive and i can do it without removing the parts now from what i've seen uh looking at the car uh trim restorer uh there are a few good contenders out there i think there's you know a few of the cheap typical brand like the Meguas and Turtle Wax but um, I found one that you know overall across multiple reviews uh, have a positive result so I thought why don't I try it uh, now I live in Australia and this product is not widely available you can't just go to a an auto store and grab it um, we have a, an auto store here called Super Cheap Auto or Autobahn neither carry this particular um, line uh, because it's a US brand uh, you probably know it it's right there it's called solution finish um, I think uh, there's a video by Chris West on YouTube that explains what this product do why is it different um, you know it uses very safe uh, chemicals um, and you know overall it got the best result and you know in terms of the how long it lasts uh, it seemed to yeah do really well um, and I thought you know what I'm gonna give that one a go so I went and bought uh, one from a retailer here online cost me fifty dollars here in, in Australia um, and yeah let me show you what uh, I did to prep and apply so I'll be doing the the main plastic at the front, uh, so the fender, uh, the, and then also the rear fender, which are faded heavily. You'll see uh, right here. So yeah, so hopefully this will help you guys um, decide when you want to restore parts of your the plastic in your motorcycle, for example, in your scooter that has been leaving outside for uh, a very long time. So here we go. Even after the wash, uh, it looks a little bit better, but the oxidation uh, didn't go away just by a simple wash. So this is where we think we need to go and apply the product. So here we go.
uh, just thought I'd show you what it looks like uh, I guess mid application you can see the big difference right there that's uh, the bottom is the product applied the top nothing uh, but unfortunately I don't think it's gonna cover deep scratches and, and damages like uh, the one I shown there but otherwise uh, so far so good uh, looks like I missed a bit there in the middle so I'm gonna get right to it alright guys we're just about done let me show you what it looks like um, it's got a bit of sheen to it as you can see but overall it looks fantastic um, you saw what it looks like before how great air it is and look at that it's got the deep black now uh, it has a nice texture it uh, doesn't have a uh, too much of a shine and yeah overall uh, I'd say recommended for a scooter so for those of you guys that you know bought a second-hand scooter that spent most of its life outside or just sitting uh, somewhere that was exposed to the weather and you want to restore it yeah I, re I recommend this product so there you go as you can see the result from solution finish was pretty spectacular uh, in terms of uh, how long it's gonna last uh, I don't know I've only had it on now for about a week and a half and so far I haven't seen any de degradation and yeah just the, the look just it's just fantastic and I think it's a it's a probably I know it's not as cheap um, the bottle cost more or less uh, around $50 here in Australia uh, probably cheaper in the US um, but the result I thought was worth it and the fact that I could apply it without having to take off the trim where you know probably would I would have to do that if I was painting um, if I was painting the the plastics again uh, yeah this one I could apply it while it's attached uh, it wipes off clean as long as you uh, wipe it off immediately if it you know touches any of the painted area or any of the the other uh, bits that you don't want the solution on and apl application was relatively easy uh, the key is to make sure that you wash um, and, and clean the plastic properly before application is what I found. So hopefully you found that useful. Please subscribe, uh, like and yeah, just see you in the next one.